Welcome to DIY or Die. Today I want to talk about marshmallows. So marshmallows are an excellent, excellent flavoring. The best use for marshmallow is either to add marshmallow flavor, obviously, but to also add sweetness and volume to certain fruits, creams, and any other kind of vapes that could benefit from the marshmallow kind of flavor. It's one of the most useful flavor profiles that we have. Marshmallows are great to sweeten creams, lift up creams, give them more of a volume, sweeten fruits, round out harsh edges, take down sharper notes. You're gonna be using marshmallows almost like an enhancer for a lot, a lot of different kind of recipes. Now quickly, I just wanna talk about the three marshmallows that I use and why I think that these three are pretty much the only marshmallows you're going to need. And I wanna tell you how best to use them, just like any other flavor talk that we do. First up is Flavor Arts Marshmallow. Flavor Arts Marshmallow is definitely the more authentic marshmallow of the bunch. It tastes like those little tiny hot chocolate marshmallows or like maybe like cereal marshmallows without so much sweetness. And that's the main thing about this marshmallow. It's near, not nearly as sweet as the other marshmallows. It has like a more of a mallowy kind of drier marshmallow flavor. It's just more authentic if you can understand that. It tastes a lot more realistic than the other ones. The thing is it's not that sweet as the other marshmallows, but that works in its favor because when you wanna just add a marshmallow flavor to things, this is the one you're probably gonna to wanna to go for. You're not gonna to introduce too much of that extra sweetness, that sugary sweetness. You're just gonna introduce a lot of that flavor, marshmallow and uh, marshmallow volume that you're gonna want. Now, if you just wanna enhance fruits and creams, you just wanna add sweetness to them, maybe a little bit of volume, round out the hedges. This isn't the one you wanna use because it's really just too authentic. It's really going to introduce too much flavor in but anytime you need a marshmallow flavoring this is the one one to two percent depending on how much marshmallow flavor you want and you're good to go next up is capella's marshmallow this is definitely the sweetest marshmallow of the bunch it's very dark as well this tastes like marsh the marshmallows that come in the bags the big marshmallows and then roll that in sugar this one is very very sweet and it's best as a sweetener enhancer kind of flavoring it's better to be used as that kind of flavoring than using it for actual marshmallow flavoring. It just has that nice kind of sticky marshmallowy sweetness that when you add to certain fruits, when you add to certain creams, it definitely rounds them out, fills them out a little more, and then gives them that little sweetness that you get on the back when you eat a regular marshmallow. I like this one at like two, 3%, sometimes 4% if I need that big marshmallow punch, but other than that, I kind of just use this as a sweetener if I don't want to add too much ethyl maltol, if I don't want to add any sucralose, I just want to lift up the sweetness of maybe like a strawberry, a lemon, while also rounding out those harsh tones. Now for creams, this is definitely going to sweeten up your creams and it's definitely going to add that kind of marshmallow flavor to them. And for creams, I'd rather stick with the other one we're about to talk about. But if you need a marshmallow to round out some edges, you need a marshmallow to add that sweetness to your fruits and you don't want to introduce an authentic marshmallow flavoring, Capella's marshmallow is the way to go. And last, we have the Flavor Apprentice Marshmallow, one of the most popular flavorings that we have. Everyone uses TFA Marshmallow. This is like a combination of the two of these. It has an authentic marshmallow flavor, but it's not too authentic. And it also has that sweetness that the Capella's has, but it's not too sweet. It's like right in the middle between the two. It's like a marshmallow that was in a bag, but not rolled in sugar and more of like a light diet marshmallow. This one is definitely more useful than Capella's and Flavor Arts because like I said, it fits in between there. And anytime you want to add sweetness, add roundness, while also adding a little bit of that marshmallow flavoring to any kind of fruits, any kind of creams, then TFA marshmallow is probably your best bet. You can use it anywhere from 2% to all the way up to 7% if you need like a marsh, an actual marshmallow flavoring. You're gonna see these in a lot of cereals, you're gonna see these in a lot of creams, for, uh, strawberries and creams. Very, very useful flavoring. It's great for filling out fruits, great for adding, uh, great for adding some of the volume between the cracks of different fruits and different creams, you know, acting as like a bridge or a catalyst between a fruit and a cream. Really, really good stuff. One word of caution, if you're using this anything over 5%, you're gonna really start to see some dampening of uh, lighter flavor notes that are in there because it really starts to overpower anything. Kind of same with Capella's Marshmallow, anything over 3%, 
you're gonna start losing subtleties and lighter flavors. So you wanna make sure you're balancing them very carefully. But that's really it about marshmallows. Really not too much to know. All you really need to know is that they're very useful, very versatile flavorings. You can use them in so many situations and they really do increase the flavor of a lot of your fruits. They increase the sweetness. They increase that vibrancy that's in a lot of uh, recipes. So definitely pick up all three of these marshmallows. If I had to choose one, I would probably choose Flavor Arts Marshmallow just because it has so much of that real kind of marshmallow flavoring that these two don't. And if you have a cotton candy, then you can add that as a sweetener rather than relying on just a marshmallow. But if you can afford it, get all three. They're all gonna be useful. They're great ingredients. And I think you're gonna really enjoy using them. And that's it guys. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. If you wanna see more, check out DIYRDiveVaping.com. If you want a more in-depth conversation about marshmallows and more in-depth conversation about all the things that I talk about, Make sure you become a member. So I'm going to see you guys Thursday for In The Mix Podcast. Go out there, create some good e-juice. Keep mixing. Much love.